Endobase opens, you will see the scheduler, which is the home screen of Endobase. At the top of the screen, you'll see different module icons to perform the different functions within the software. To navigate through Endobase, we progress through these different modules from left to right to complete the full documentation workflow. The first icon on the far left, which has the two patients on it, takes you to the patient list module. Here, you can search for, create, or edit patient details. The next icon, indicated with the red plus, is the examination data module, which allows you to schedule and edit examinations for a particular patient. The camera flash icon is the perform examination module. This will allow you to capture procedural images into Endobase from your processor. You'll also be able to capture procedural milestones here. Moving across to the next icon with the film strip and the pencil, this is the post-examination module, which allows you to select and annotate the procedural images that you want to use for your report. You will also be able to add anatomical graphics to your report in this module. Finally, to complete the documentation workflow, the icon with the open envelope is the integrated reporting module. Here, you'll be able to use the dictionary of terms or the structured terminology is how we call it, to quickly populate your report in a grammatically correct, standardized and auditable form. Opening and closing each of these modules will return you back to the scheduler screen. The other two icons are the patient history module and the statistics module, which are not part of the routine workflow, but they can be accessed as required. Didn't catch all of that? Don't worry. Coming up, we'll go through each of these modules in more detail. <music>